Okay, we're pulling out of Charlotte Rose Campground this morning. We're almost done packing up. Had a really nice pancake breakfast this morning. It's still going on. And we're gonna be heading to Ship Shawana North. Tonight will be the last night without bedroom air conditioning. <laughs> And it's already, as you can tell by me sweating my face off here, that it's already warm, hot, and humid. And it's not even like 9.30 this morning. So hopefully be out of here real soon. I hear engines revving over there for the car show. And we're out of here. So uh, next stop, ship Shawana. So we are in a marathon slash McDonald's parking lot mm -hmm. because with a bunch of other 18 yeah. wheelers and RVers. And I have the dash cam going at the same time. It was scary trying to make that turn and visibility is like zero. I think it's only 16 miles from the campground. But I'm not setting up in this. So. Well, and I'm not driving in this. You can't even see. Yeah. You, can't, you really can't see the, in the house the front of your room. Oh, it's horrible. Your well, you can see. Here we go. Take well, it. you can, but it's... There's see? cars over there. I can't see them. There's the dash cam recording what I'm recording here, so that ought to be fun. Yeah, we're driving up, and you're saying there's a stoplight. I thought, really? Where? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Atka is out cold. Nah, he's awake. Why do you not give your sister room? Look at that. Look at all this room back here, and you'd give her none. There, the girl. So that's it for right now. Next stop, if we get the chance, ship you on a north campground for tonight. Okay. We arrived yesterday afternoon, and we're only going to be at this particular campground one night. This is the Shipshawana Campground and Amish Log Cabin Lodging. There's a phone number for you. And it's also known as the North Shipshawana Campground. I'll have addresses below. We're only going to be here for the one night. We're getting our air conditioner fixed today. And then we're moving to the Shipshawana Campground and Service Center, also known as the Shipshawana Campground and Center. And I'll have that address as well. But basically what's happening here is this is a really nice campground. Uh, there are some cons. I'll go over the cons first. We cannot get TV antenna service. They do have cable, but we haven't gotten our cable working properly. I got to get that fixed too. And basically their Wi-Fi is really weak. You cannot do any sort of streaming from it, strictly using your iPad to check Facebook and emails, and it won't really do much more than that. The lanes are pretty narrow and the campground sites are pretty narrow and they're not extremely level. But other than that, let's get into the pros. Beautiful setting, as you can see. These nice, huge green areas. We'll take a look at where the cabins are here in a second. We are in a water and electric site. We're here for just the one night. We do not need the sewer. Yes, I'm on garbage detail. Uh, it seems to be the best time to do these videos. Nice big empty dumpster. They emptied it this morning, so. They have the cabin set back in this really cool wooded area. Check this out. So that is really, really awesome. They got this really awesome wooded area and all these cabins out there. I just now noticed that the cabins are a no campfire zone, but they do have fire pits for all of the RV sites. And somebody's working on something over there. Normally it's been really quiet but it's a little noisy here this morning. Hey, some guy's working on something on his rig. This is located at the main road crossing over into Shipshawana, and then the main road that's heading down into Shipshawana, we're right on the corner. But yeah, this has uh, been really nice for the very short time we've been here. They do have a camp store in the camp office. They sell basic items. In the very front, they got this cool little tourist information center. Peeked in last night, but it was dark. It kind of looks like their cabins. 
but you got these little fake ponies. <laughs> well, they do have lights in here. And the lights don't work. <laughs> now you might think that's kind of weird to have safety cups on the wall, but besides having a visitor center here, a tourist center, right back over here, on the grounds, they have an Amish soft serve store right on the premises. Now, it was not open yesterday. Well, when we got here, it was closed. And by the time it opens, we'll be leaving. So we may come back and check this out. But they sell ice cream. I'm sure this is really popular on warm days. And to give you an idea how close this is, as we're walking away here, this first aisle of campsites, we're in down at the end of that one. There we are down there, the, the second big white truck. I don't know, maybe it's good we're only here for the one day. I just wouldn't think that would be too easy to resist having an ice cream shop just a few hundred yards, about a hundred yards away maybe, 50 yards away. Anyways, let's take a look at one more thing. Now, I do want to say one thing. Uh, with problems we've had in other campsites where it's rained, where it would puddle up and flood. This one's designed really well. I mean, that rain yesterday was hard. And there is only a small, very few puddles, like right here. And that's, like, easy to avoid. But the whole park pretty much drained off. Now, behind the store, you have a multi-purpose room. So you got a stackable washer-dryer, TV room, table chairs, and you do have a wash house and bathroom. There's a button there, but it actually is not locked. So yeah, they do have showers and a bathroom right there. So I'm very impressed. The fact that we're only staying here one night, it's very easy. But once again, make sure if you want entertainment that your cable is working because you're not gonna get anything off your TV antenna, at least not at the moment and the wi-fi is not going to allow you to stream so but that's it for the north ship you want to campground or ship you want to campground in amish log cabin that was good timing <laughs> all right so on to the next one Yeah, we get air tonight and it's only supposed to be in the 60s. <laughs> well, I'm hoping the wind's not too bad. We made it to Shipshawana South. This is the RV campground and service center. Service center is behind me. And this is quite a big place. Uh, the spots are, are very level, really nice. You do face off, but we are part of the rally, so it's gonna be kind of nice that we'll be face to face with another rally member. And uh, we do have one rally person across the way over here, their flag is up, ours is up, ready for an awesome week. Anyways, I'll get more about the campground, uh, but we're also gonna have another video just talking about all the fun stuff we're doing. So this is gonna be cool. So I found out some information. I misquoted earlier on, and I probably had a little title saying I did. This is the Shipshawana and Service Center Campground, or Shipshawana and Center, or Campground and Center. Um, I will definitely have the right thing written out. But um, there is a Shipshawana South. I just found it the other day as we were driving around. It's south of here. so. There's a Shipshawana North, Shipshawana South, and then the Shipshawana Campground and Center. So the party is over, but I wanted to do the campground review. This is actually a really nice campground. We are right next to the flea market. So if you're here on a Tuesday and Wednesday, the flea market is open those two days a week, and you can walk right across the way to see everything. They do have awesome sites, nice big sites, nice level sites, full hookups. There is a bathhouse and gathering area over here. There is no pool, so if you want a pool, you're not going to find it here. But weather has cooled down, and we're right now in the beginning, middle of August. So we'll take a look inside and see what's going on here. 
we did have one of our meetups out here when we had a outdoor potluck and that actually worked out quite well i see somebody in there but i did look in the showers are decent they do have washers and dryers yeah there are two washers two dryers and a big service center and store the store is closed today but it is open i think at least five days a week and they do take reservations but they book out quite a ways as far as getting service working on so if you want to come here to have something worked on make sure that you plan way ahead i'd say set up your service call first and then make your reservations i don't think you'll have any trouble getting into a site but you will have trouble getting into making a reservation big grass area out here now they did tell me they do allow fires just not on the grass now the group we had they allowed them to put the fire on the grass out here in this big social area you see where our fire pits were they don't have fire rings so you have to supply your own fire ring if you're going to have a fire and it needs to be on the rocks not on the grass so that's a good thing to know so there's not a lot more to say about this it is right in the heart of Shipshawana, uh kind of uh, you have a lot of stuff just main town is just north of us here there's still quite a bit south essen house if you're looking for that seven miles west and the 20 is just a little ways down so seven miles west of the 20. um it, it's just a very cool area to check out so we're not going to do a lot of in-town stuff in these pair of videos so if you want to see that go back to our video from last year to check out ship Shawana. but we're going to probably end this one here i feel a couple of drops coming so we want to get out of here so uh make sure that you hit that subscription button notification bell let you know when we post every sunday at two thumbs up for good measure and safe travels we'll see you on the road